Hey, hey everybody, here's an update on the 1998 International 4700 with the DT-466E in it. Of course, that's when everybody drives by when I'm trying to do a video. So as you recall, I bought this truck as a non-runner. So uh, I didn't run, they said electrical issues, computer was bad, so they gave me a computer and a, a ECM and a, and a remanufactured ECM. Um, I traced all the wires, made sure everything was working right as it was. I replaced all the sensors, relays. These are the two normal relays that you would go bad, the ECM and the IDM relay. And then the IDM, I got a rebuilt IDM, which was newer, which I didn't need because um, the other IDM was fine, but I didn't know that yet. So um, I replaced, you know, all the sensors. I put a new IPR in it. Um, and then the issue with this truck uh, ended up being the ferry plug ball. So under there, right under there is a ferry plug and it's just a bolt with a shaft on it. And uh, that holds a ferry plug ball in place in a little cup area. And if you don't have that, it can cause hard starting or in this case, no starting at all. I wasn't able to develop any high, high pressure rail pressure there. So um, replaced all that. This was an aftermarket eBay uh, IPR I put in there and I did not put in the ICP sensor yet so then I uh, started up running rough throwing codes 331 and 333 which is um, you know ICP pressure too high or too low and then ICP pressure above normal um, so I replaced the ICP sensor since that was easier and uh, same issue uh, running rough surge 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 like you would if you have just too much H-pop pressure. So I just now, a few minutes ago, put in, it's still warm, put in the um, old IPR, but I used the new uh, Magneto and the uh, standoff and the, the 10 nut. Um, so I used the new outside stuff, but the inside stuff is the old original uh, IPR, the one that was in there when I got it at least, and started it up and just perfect, no codes on the dash, no warning lights uh, like it was with the other IPR. So let that be a lesson to me and to you. If you're buying an eBay IPR, um, the outside stuff may be good, but the inside stuff is not probably manufactured to the same tolerances as you would expect, like a Motocraft or um, you know anything OEM, generally. So you know, I'm sure there's exceptions. I did not find that exception. I was not one of the lucky ones where it worked. So I'm gonna crank it up for you and you can hear it, see it. See, there's no codes on dash. I'm excited since I may be driving this one soon. All right, key on. Okay, more light goes on and then goes off. Okay, water and fuel light stays on until I crank it up. Then let's uh, push the button to start it. Can you see my finger down there? RPMs were working a couple times today, but not right now. They're not working right now. But look at that. No codes on the dash. Just smooth as anything. Ooh, running smooth. I still have to fix the uh, high pressure rail. Down there, it was leaking with that other IPR. I don't know if it'll leak with this IPR, but I have a gasket coming because um, I do need to replace it. If it leaked at all, I need to replace that. That's kind of a pain to replace that one, um, but it's not terrible. But listen to it. Uh, redo the grommets and the fuel lines a um, couple things like that man that is it is running so smooth Whew. that thing revs too so haven't driven it yet uh, I'm 
going to um, change the oil. I got the oil stuff and I got my arc oil stuff, I always do. I'm gonna also do a injector uh, clean through it. Um, and then I'll run the arc oil, I don't know what it is, 6,500 in the fuel and 9,500 or 9,200 in the oil, whatever that is. But I was always running on the power strokes and it quiets them down and makes them awesome. But this one, as you can hear, is pretty quiet. But I'll have to go back in and check all my work and reposition the computer and fix all this mess. And then uh, it does need an oil pan gasket, I think, but I'm not 100% sure. We're gonna do one thing at a time and go from there. Um, obviously we're charging, but nothing there and there. Worked a little bit earlier today a few times, but not this time. And it's looking good. So I will go double check all my work at some point, not today, probably not till next week. Um, and I'll put all this stuff back and then I'll put some insurance on it and go drive it. My new dirt bike rig. Uh, 